zombie apocalypse. Silly brain-eating creatures roam the world and they are hungry for your booty. I think we've all wondered what we would do to survive a zombie apocalypse. Don't worry, I've got guns, you might say. Well, this initial thought sounds the best, unless you manage to lure the zombies into a soundproofed recording studio, you'll quickly find yourself surrounded and out of ammo. Big mistake. I've got a better idea for you, my dear viewer. Become a medieval knight. Once trained by Lord Farquaad himself, those pesky zombies will be no match for your might. That is where we meet our dear friend. Slayer of zombies. Leader of men. Destroyer of worlds. And most importantly, King of the Mustache. Huh? This story will follow the legend that is Richard Reinfred. With that intro done, let's quickly discuss some of the rules. The rules for this video are quite simple. No guns and no vehicles. Why you ask? Well, to be honest, if Richard was in full plate armor with an AK-47 and a Ford Mustang, I think he would be just a little too OP. Saying that, I'll have to save that for another video. Mmm, me likey. So, without further ado, let's head into this video. Here in his cupboard, Richard has all his gear that we'll be starting with. So, we've got our knight helmet, our beautiful plate and mail armor with our three weapons. So, medieval dagger going right on his belt there. We've got his knight's sword, a one-handed sort of arming sword, um, maybe even bastard sword you could call it. And then his medieval great sword. Let's get that on its back. They're the three weapons that he'll have. Let's test out these weapons. Okay, <laughs> one shot there, not one shot there. Let's have a quick look at his protection. You can see amazing protection from all this armor, but not full protection, 84. So there still is about a 15% chance for him to get bit or 12% chance for him to get scratched. So it's not like he's invulnerable. <laughs> it is quite funny watching him as his medieval knight just like leaping through windows and you know, <laughs> just going in these uh, normal houses. It is quite funny. I'm going to have to do a lot more exploring because we can't have a car. It is going to be challenging to try and haul all of our stuff around. And if you ever want to move on without a car, it's going to be a lot of walking. <coughs> <coughs> and so with that, that is the first house that we've officially looted. So let's get the map out. Let's cross this one off and we can continue down the street to try and get a few more of these houses looted. What medieval knight doesn't love a tub of ice cream? So, <laughs> starting to get a bit hungry, eating a full tub of ice cream. Okay, so I've looted that house. It was a house for sale. Nothing of interest in there at all. Now, ooh, I'm just venturing a little bit further down. But I'm also quite worried about the amount of zombies there are in this area. Um, and because I'm playing on the apocalypse mode, there's obviously no multi hit. So while yes, I have a massive great sword, I still have to take on a zombie one at a time. And if it ends up breaking um, quite quickly, it might be a big struggle. But alas, I think we can deal with these zombies quite easily. And actually, there's not too many here. There was there, a lot of them were behind this fence, so should be okay. Yeah, perfect. That is those zombies dealt with. Let's get into our little grocery store here and take some of this food and because we're playing on day or whatever the starting day is um, from the apocalypse start none of this food is actually out of date so all this fresh food we can eat very very nicely but as you can see again because I got that food modifier mod on <laughs> there barely is any food in here um, barely any at all so it is a little worrying but we'll have enough food for us Right, I've switched to my knight sword and this thing still seems badass like look at that one shotting all the zombies I think now I'm ready to head back. I've crossed off these places on the map We'll cross this final one off here and we'll head back to our house This nice big one over here. This is absolutely amazing to see just a, a, a man in full medieval plate armor leaping over a fence <laughs> literally it's, it's Arnie. He, he's got to be one of the strongest people on the planet to be able to do that. So fair play to him. Okay, so so far the day has been successful. I've dumped all my loot into my kitchen, pretty much, apart from the bookshelf here, with some of our 
books and magazines all collected where there's still a light and the day is not over so i'm going to clear out some of these zombies near my house and i'm going to continue to loot these nearby houses just so we can get this whole area cleared okay one thing i am doing is <laughs> looting all these curtains in these houses the reasoning is because i want to make sure in my own house all the windows or at least all the windows where i will be close to are all curtained up so no pesky zombies can be seen in and spot me i'm going to cook myself up some dinner and with that end the first day well technically no, it is the end of the first day we're now in the very early morning of day two okay so i did accidentally manage to burn that the ground beef so i'm gonna put it where it belongs on the ground outside okay so my presence up the road doesn't be attracting some more zombies but at the moment nothing we can't handle okay i've changed my mind so i've killed quite a lot of zombies here and i'm worried about my calorie consumption um because you can see obviously we're losing weight because we haven't eaten much food but my worry is if i'm constantly working away killing zombies day in day out and i'm not eating enough food even though i'm not hungry i'm gonna have a hard time keeping my weight and then I'm going to become underweight. So I do want to actually eat these houses and then just try and eat as much food as possible. Oh, how delicious. Chicken that's just been freshly cooked in the oven. Let's get a piece of that. Ron Miss though, I am finding so many car keys in these houses, which is so sad. Knowing that outside there is the car and I just can't use it. But again, that is part of the challenge of being this medieval knight because how the hell would a medieval knight know how to drive a car oh, i can't imagine that being the case okay, there's a lot more zombies now here than when i left it a moment ago but again my knight sword i can hopefully make short work of these guys and there is now a jet flying over <laughs> oh god let's sneak however much that's gonna do for me Ooh. okay let's try and avoid that that crowd there and let's move further down the road Oh, we're making short work of these zombies. And <laughs> look at that. Who needs a gun when you're a medieval knight with a sword? Okay, so there are some very angry patrons who just burst through the church windows. Probably to kill me for all my uh, sins of murdering hundreds of soldiers on the battlefield. That is them all dealt with. There's obviously not... <laughs> Let me just open the window for them. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, you little, you little bastard. Take, take that. The amount of destruction around me is just insane. The amount of zombies, like, I've killed. I'm just so <laughs> oblivious. I just walk in, find Ord, and murder all of them. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm getting pretty full of my image this way. I'm eating the rest of my fresh cooked chicken. Gonna make us full to bursting. And then with that, I'm gonna head back towards our house just to deposit all the loot i've got not only because a lot of it is fresh food which i don't want going off in my inventory okay so what i wanted to test out right and i think i know the answer already but <laughs> it's, it's to try and put try and put our armor in the washing machine and see if we can get rid of all the blood so let's give it a go <laughs> Oh, lazy little tighty whities Give me mad! Yes, sir. Fucking mad! <laughs> I think it's working. <laughs> it is. <laughs> We're just washing our armor. Definitely isn't going to cause any rust. No, no, no. This is stupendous stuff. I'm not getting nice, clean, shiny armor. Okay, so I came up my house on day three and was greeted. I thought it was a little turd on the floor. No, no, that is the ground ground beef patty from the previous day. But we're out, guys, and I'm ready to kickstart a very, very productive day. So I think I'm going to ignore that area up there where we encountered about a million zombies. And instead, I'm going to make my way down this road where we definitely encountered a large horde here. I think it should be fine this time, though. Die, zombies. Die. Taste my steel. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> okay, that was that was that was bad from me. And that is just showing how effective our armor is, because actually that zombie couldn't properly attack us there. So yeah, <laughs> I messed up big time, but our armor came in clutch. 
How lovely. Just meeting some people walking out in the forest. I hate walkers. Kill them all. Um, yeah, that's nothing we can't handle. Get the big great sword out, gentlemen. We're going for a party. And here we have it. Richard, the medieval knight, going for a lovely peaceful stroll down the country paths. There are some little pathetic fools who wish to disrupt his journey. But I'm not sure why they're not leaping up the fence. Come on, guys, I'm over here. Can I wear this? <laughs> I love it. I was going to say, can I wear this bulletproof vest over his, um, <laughs> his plate armor? And they actually, I actually can. That is brilliant. I think I'm going to loot some of these houses just because, um, I'm now thinking I want to set up further out because we're quite a way away from our house, which is all the way uh, down there. So if I can set up like a sort of uh, a Ford operating base here, that gives me something to use. Okay, there is actually quite a lot of zombies here. Nothing I can't handle, but more than I was expecting. Oh gosh, my greatsword now has gone into the yellow zone. It's definitely about halfway damaged now. That is... Quite worrying. Oh. Nice. Oh god, we make such quick work of these, these zombies. Like I said before, I need a gun when you're a medieval knight. Okay, let's have a look at this little laundromat. And do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, let's get Richard's armor nice and clean while we're here. Oh! <laughs> And look, we got some animal print underwear. Let's put these on. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Getting some animal print underwear while he's not got his armor on. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, that is all the blood of, of his armor. So let's get them in the tumble dryers now. <laughs> and we can, we can have his nice shiny armor all dry. Um, again, like I said... Hopefully not rusted too much, but <laughs> we can deal with that another time. Okay, let's try and get this armor on quick before those uh, before those zombies appear. Perfect. You really thought you could disrupt my wash cycle? Get in here, you little sucker. You've got beautiful, clean armor on. I can kill anybody now. Well, <laughs> we have to set our beautiful, clean armor all bloodied again, but hey. Okay, we found... Waits Motel. Wow, what a stunning place. I think Richard would love to stay here. Let's find a room here. And then that will be the end of day three. Move on to day four. Here we are. We're in the first room of the hotel, the one that connects directly to the reception. And what a brilliant bit of service. We've got an orange soda in the fridge. We've got an oven in our, in our hotel room. Brilliant. We've got a rat in the cupboard. <laughs> well, brilliant service here at Waits Hotel. Oh my god. <laughs> in this motel, they had a crossbow <laughs> and some crossbow bolts. Oh, I say some crossbow bolts. It is just one crossbow bolt. But let's get the crossbow bolt in it. And let's let's get shooting this thing. We've only got one shot with no aiming skill. But let's see if we can actually get any sort of hit on them. Oh, perfect. Okay, we are out of ammo. We have to switch back to our sword. But that thing is pretty brutal. Hello? Is anybody home? I don't think so. Open up, bitch. Perfect. Dog food. Exactly what I love to eat for dinner. So let's eat some of that now. This is the slowest microwave I've ever seen in my life. I was honestly sat on that chair for about 50 minutes for the sausage to cook. So we can safely say this sausage is not going to give me any food poisoning and is absolutely fine. How lovely. Richard's going to fall asleep in his full plate gear. He doesn't want to have any surprises in the night. So it is the safest option. What the fuck? Okay, I was joking about no surprises in the night. Right, Richard did actually get ambushed. By a zombie that came creeping into his room. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I slept in my gear. Oh, God, it is so satisfying to one shot these zombies. Um, and what have I spotted over here? A food market. Hello. 
Food, food, food is what I want. Zombies, hello. Okay, there's actually quite a lot. <laughs> no, you little zombie freaks. Oh God, we're so good. <laughs> we're just one-shotting everything. And let's see what's in these crates. Okay, some fruit cocktail, that's fantastic. <gasps> some canned pineapple, amazing. And then nothing more. Okay, that's, that's a bit sad. I think I found some sort of safe house here. The windows are all barricaded up, which is pretty interesting. There is a few zombies around, but again, obviously nothing we can't handle. We're literally a killing machine. Swords are renowned for their strength against wooden barricades. Mmm, avocados and milk. Absolutely delicious. There definitely is some zombies upstairs, so let's tread a little bit more carefully. <laughs> yep. Damn, nah, motherfucker. He does have an M16. What the hell? There's an, is that another safe house up there? But what is the luck of finding two safe houses right next to each other? Like, <laughs> I've never seen that before, ever. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. You know, hardware stores or whatever. Oh, and there's a gunshot there. And, oh, there's a hell of a lot of zombies near us. My goodness. I actually wanted to switch to my greatsword again because I'm getting a little worried. There's all of those zombies there. There's all of those zombies there. Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, gosh. Right, come on, Richard. Get the greatsword out. It's time to start swinging. Perfect. So that's them dealt with. Oh, gosh, I think I want to avoid this crowd. Mmm, canned spaghetti bolognese, my favorite. Let's open that up. And again, eat it whole. Delicious. So this area actually seems pretty clear. There's a little group up there, but down this street, oh, there's, a, I suppose, a few stragglers that are clumping up, but uh, nothing too crazy. We have plenty. Oh, shit. Right, <laughs> Richard, run, run. Get out, get out. What I'm hoping is we can try and... Oh, God. I'm hearing this for miles. Let's just run the way we came. Oh, God, there actually is quite a lot. Um... And because I'm conspicuous, they're probably going to spot me. All right, that's those ones dealt with. Let's try and take on this house without... Oh, no. There's a lot still coming over. Oh, gosh. Richard, get out. These two actually broke out of the house <laughs> just to hit, get the car alarm. Right. God, there is there is a lot here. I'm going to have to whip out my, my great sword. <sighs> Stupid zombies. Yeah, I ain't taking no risks. Oh my god, I'm such a beast. God, this is so easy. I'm probably going to get absolutely slated in the comments for being such a, a loser and playing this game so easily. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't slay me in the comments, guys. I thought this would be a fun video. All it's been is just me getting hundreds and hundreds of kills so easily. I'm sorry. Boom. That is that one down. And that is all of them down. So, I'm going to give these houses a quick little run around. And then cross them off on my map once they're looted. Oh, God, there's even so quite a few inside. All right, there's more coming over. I will need to be quick. Doesn't seem to be too much of anything good anyway, to be honest with you. Oh, there is a baseball bat. I'll take that. They're all going to break down that door any moment. Yep. <laughs> oh, God, there's actually quite a lot. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> no, I got stuck in between the sofa. No. <laughs> no. I'm stuck. <laughs> no, this is horrible. Look how long they're taking to kill me. Oh, this is so painful to watch. No. Oh my god. And there we have it, guys. As a medieval knight, Richard has survived three days. And 12 hours with 422 zombie kills oh my god that was embarrassing 
I tried to run back and I thought I could fit through the gap in the sofa. I have no idea why. Of course I couldn't. And there we go. That is my playthrough over. And hopefully you've had a blast watching this. If you're watching this to the end, thanks so much for your support, guys. Really enjoyed making this one. This was really, really funny and also great to try out a different idea. Look at Richard in his full armor. Oh my God, though. Imagine if you encountered a zombie in full plate armor. I'd be petrified. So yeah, <laughs> I can't wait for the next survivor who has to deal with this guy. But yeah. Oh, I tried a different unique idea. Medieval style Project Zomboid. Really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, guys. Please do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more wacky and silly Project Zomboid content. I'd love to make some more. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra.